Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me again. You know I have the best, the most consistent, the hottest TRX content on YouTube, so you know you wanna subscribe. If you haven't already, you don't wanna miss out on the TRX content that I'm bringing to you guys. And also, if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell. This way you get the notifications for when I post. You don't wanna miss out on the next video. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be this week, it could be next week. So you wanna be up to date to when my videos drop because you know the TRX content that I have for you guys is the best on YouTube. So in this video today, we're gonna to be talking about what I like about my truck, what I don't like about my truck. I always think a good testament of ownership of a vehicle is just judging how much you like that vehicle after about 10,000 miles of driving it and of owning it. So I just rolled 10,000 miles on this truck. I have a nice list for you guys. The things I like, the things I don't like, um, the things that I've had issues with, the things that I found out about the truck, and you know what activities I've done with the truck which ones were my favorite which ones I kind of wish that I didn't do and so let's just hop into the truck uh, I guess we I guess we should probably do a cold start for you guys so uh, we'll rip a cold start we'll get it all nice warmed up we'll go for a drive and then uh, we'll start talking about the things that I like and the things I don't like about this truck You guys really thought I was gonna let you listen to that cold start in the beginning of the video like that? Come on guys, you guys are smarter than that by now. You know you have to wait till the end for the cold starts. Now the obvious things that you buy this truck for are still gonna be the reasons that you wanna own this truck after you put 10,000 miles on it. You buy this truck because you want the horsepower, because you want the quickness, because you like the sounds that it makes, because you wanna go off-roading with it, because you know the suspension it has. When you buy that truck, buy this truck for those reasons, those will still be the reasons why you want to own this truck in the future. And I mean, I put 10,000 miles on it, a little bit over now, 10,138 miles at this current moment. And just listen to this. I hope this, I hope the blower wine comes through to you guys, the exhaust is coming out. Um, I mean, that's only below 3000 RPM too, with very minor amount of throttle input. And that still makes me very happy. It still makes me very excited to drive this truck. Those are, those are the things that you're still gonna love after you own this truck for 10,000 miles. Does the quickness, do you get used to the quickness? Yes. Do you wanna go faster? Yes. Do you want it to be louder? Yes. Do you want everything to be louder? Yes. But you get in the truck the first time you recognize how comfortable it is, how nice the seats are, how you fit in them very nicely and they hug you. Still gonna like that. You're gonna notice the first time you drive it in Baja suspension with how soft it is and how it just floats down the road like an old Cadillac. Are you still gonna like that? Yes, of course you're still gonna like that. This, this truck is so comfortable. It's the most comfortable truck that I've ever owned. And for it to be 700 horsepower, completely made to go off-roading and fly all across the desert, is it impressive that this is the most comfortable truck that I have? Yes, it is. And it, it just speaks to how much you're gonna grow to love this truck. You're gonna be extremely excited the first time you turn it on to drive it home, and then you're gonna be extremely excited to drive it one year later when you put 10,000 miles on it just to drive it to the grocery store or just to drive it just because you haven't driven it in a while because you'll start to miss driving this truck. It has a passion to it. It has a, a character to it that makes you want to drive it. it. It's the reason that people buy fast cars in the first place, to have that passion, to have that feeling, to have that, that, that feeling of, freedom almost it's like the same as a motorcycle i don't own a motorcycle but i'm assuming it's the same feeling so if you like the the feeling of driving if you like the feeling of speed or any type of adrenaline you're going to still love this truck after you put 10,000 miles on it Now, when you buy a brand new Ram TRX, just like mine, what are some of the things that you can expect to be doing in that first 10,000 miles? What are some of the things that I've done within the first 10,000 miles? Well, it's simple. I've been to the drag strip. I ran a 12.3 
at 108 miles an hour. I raced a brand new Mustang GT with a 10 speed. They were pretty much dead even, which is wildly impressive. I bet you if we raced 10 times, the truck would win five times, the Mustang would win five times. It's, it's pretty close between the two. Um, I raced a Corvette Z06. The guy had a really hard time launching the, the vet, uh, but still, I bet you if I would have left off the light, it might have been close, but obviously the Z06 should obviously smoke this every single time down the drag strip without issue. After the drag strip, I went to the sand dunes. Obviously the sand dunes are incredible with this truck here in the state of Michigan. There's a sand dune called Silver Lake Sand Dunes. It's in uh, like the northwest part of the state and they are a blast to go to. I've always taken my Jeep because I have an O2 Wrangler as well. Um, obviously this year I had the TRX to go and it was a blast in this truck. It was as much fun as you could possibly imagine. It was insane. The truck just shreds the dunes. It has absolutely no issue doing anything. Honestly, I was just too excited to go and uh, I ran into my own issue. I was my own problem my own worst nightmare that day at the sand dunes um, within 10 minutes of being on the sand dunes i uh, collapsed the front skid plate if you guys watched my bumper video you guys heard that story so if you haven't go check it out but i think it's almost extremely obvious at this point that this truck would be a lot of fun on the sand dunes the suspension like i said earlier is just so soft it's designed for it the whoops kind of harsh when you're going slow because the suspension's not necessarily tuned for that but once you gain a little bit of speed it just soaks it up as if they're not even there you could be just driving down the highway you wouldn't even notice a difference driving on whoops i always said which just like plenty of other people said you either go eight miles an hour or you go 80 miles an hour there's no in between you either need to go really slow where the suspension's pretty much unbothered by it or you need to go extremely fast this way the dampening system is able to keep up or just uh, keep the tires on the ground as much as possible in the first 10,000 miles you can expect to be going to car meets you can expect to be going to cars and coffees you could be expect to go anywhere with this truck um, I've met some really great people at car shows at car meets I always take it I really love going to car shows in this because it's a nice it's a nice way to meet people um, you always hear awesome stories from maybe uh, an older gentleman uh, about a car that they had when they were growing up sometimes you run into people that had 70 kudas or 70 challengers and it's always fun to hear their stories about drag racing or street racing and it's always nice to hear those and you know share experiences of you know that generation versus our generation especially just between a sports car a muscle car and i guess you could call it a muscle truck super truck i like calling it a super truck but you know i really like going to car shows with it just to meet new people uh see what's there obviously i'm a car guy so i like to see what's new there's always a couple of vipers especially here in michigan which is awesome shout out mikey um there's some really fast zr1s if you haven't go check out vy zr1 on youtube he's a really great friend of mine and he has like a 900 wheel horsepower c6 zr1 so you're gonna definitely want to check that out he has some awesome burnout videos on his channel but car meets are always a great place to meet new friends to get into the car scene in your area because there's always good people there just like you if you want to be there there's going to be other people that want to be there as well and it's always great to have a good conversation with them meet them and then you know you could end up going to the drag strip with them uh, meeting new people to go to the sand dunes with or you know get lunch get dinner just have friends in general with now my last favorite thing to do with this truck since i've bought it within your 10,000 mile limit is to pick up your friends just to ride around go to lunch go to dinner just drive the truck just because you can drive the truck make those memories of you know launching it when they're not ready or or uh, passing somebody pretty quickly on an on-ramp or just anything in general so it's always really fun to sh make those memories with your friends in a vehicle like this um, just share that experience as much as you can with them just like I really enjoy sharing my ownership experience with you guys uh, I love making these videos I love posting them so you know every time you guys subscribe or drop a comment down below I always love responding I always love seeing it and it's just more motivation for me to do something that I like doing so I love this truck and it brings me to that 
So now let's talk about some of the mods that I've done to this truck. Uh, we'll dive right into that now. I'm pretty sure the first mod that I did to this truck, it was either window tint or cutting the resonators out of the exhaust to make it straight piped from the converter back. I think it might've been the straight pipe because I really wanted to make sure that the truck was as loud and great sounding as possible for that first trip to the sand dunes. So I made a video about straight piping it, but you know, maybe we should just let you guys listen to it one more time, maybe rev it a couple times, and then we'll get into the, the other mods right after we're done. Just listening to the exhaust one more time. The next mod, like I said, it's probably window tint, not really even a mod, but you gotta tint every vehicle. I hate that fishbowl feeling of it being in any type of car. Everything that I own is tinted. Um, so the tint that I did was just to match the rear windows on the front window. So it's about 20% on the front windows. I did 5% over top of the tint on the back window. So it's pretty much pretty dark uh, now. And then uh, I did a 20% strip across the top of the windshield, which I'm sure you guys have seen in videos or you'll probably see in this video too with a park like this with me talking so window tint gotta love it every time i don't like being able to be seen in it i don't like being able to see headlights high beams anything i just like being pretty much just dark in the in the, in the vehicle and not being able to be seen in it my next mod my next mod was an oil catch can obviously again not like a huge mod just a good thing to have uh, this way unburned gas uh, oil vapors things like that don't go through your PCV system back into your intake and get reburned because all that does is lower your octane number on your fuel and it increases the chance of it to have knock and obviously knock is bad for an engine. another obvious one for you guys is my addictive desert designs front bumper I made a whole video on it to check it out I already plugged it once let's plug it twice um, I love this. It makes the truck look 10 times better in my opinion. It makes it look a lot more aggressive. I love it. The lights are nice to have, uh, especially when you're off-roading down the trail. There's no other light. You need to send that light out by yourself. Um, plus the pod lights that I use as fog lights, same thing. They're brighter than the stock fog lights, so they're another great addition to the truck. Lastly, the truck is ceramic coated. There is PPF on it as well, uh, paint protective film. I had all of the black paint, the two-tone black paint uh, coated in PPF. Sorry for the wind noise, guys. I can't really do anything about that. I can feel it, so I know you guys probably hear it. If not, that's great, but I know that you guys do. iPhones are very sensitive with wind noise, but it is fully ceramic coated. Like I said, the black paint is PPF, um, just protective. Um, you're gonna probably wanna do that with your truck, especially within the 10,000 mile period. This way you don't get any rock chips. This way your paint doesn't chip. This way your truck doesn't start rusting prematurely. Now, the most important thing about buying a new vehicle, a new truck, especially one that's ex as expensive as this, is how reliable is it? Now my truck, it's pretty reliable. I've never been stranded on the side of the road, on the side of the road with it. It's never not started for me, but I have had some warranty issues that I've had to go back to the dealership with. Um, for starters, as soon as I picked the truck up, I noticed that the passenger door speaker, I do have the upgraded Harman Kardon 18 speaker sound system in the truck, but the passenger door speaker um, didn't sound right. There was like a static to it, um, never sounded good. So I had to take it back to the dealer and the dealer verified that it was um, not sounding accurate. So they replaced that door speaker probably within the first thousand miles. And then I've had no more issues with the audio system at all. I love the audio system in this truck. I love the Harman Kardon system. But I also uh, had that issue with the axle boot. My last two videos were about that. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that, but that issue's a little bit more significant, obviously, than a speaker. Um, it's an issue with the drivetrain. So um, they did replace it for free under warranty, obviously. And it was nice to uh, get that fixed, but it seemed that it was the same part number that came on the truck originally. So I don't know if there was just a batch that they think that was bad from maybe this date to this date. And they know that this is now a good part, but I'm worried about the other side. I'm 
I'm also worried about it failing again when it's out of warranty. So fingers crossed that that stays reliable because there's been plenty of TRXs that have had those TRX, uh, those CV boot issues. Sorry for that mix up. Um, but you know, fingers crossed. It seemed to be all of the early built TRXs and mine was one of the earlier builds. I picked it up in February of 21. Now it is February of 22. It's been a full year. Um, so that issue I kind of was expecting, but I was really fingers crossed that I wasn't going to have that one. Now, I think it's obvious what I like and, di and dislike about this truck. Um, I love using it. I love driving it. I love doing the things that it was designed to do. My ultimate favorite thing to do in this truck is to go to the sand dunes. I just love going to the sand dunes. I love off-roading, which is why I bought the TRX in the first place. Um, I also really enjoy going to the drag strip and I also just really love making memories in this truck with my friends and sharing the experience with them and obviously sharing the experience with you guys. So thank you to all of you that have subscribed to the channel. Um, greatly appreciate it. It motivates me more than you know. And uh, you know, this truck is just a blast and 10,000 miles with this truck just makes me look forward to the next 100,000, maybe even million miles with this truck. So. You know, hopefully, hopefully I still love it by then. I know 100% that I will. So, you know, let's see, uh, maybe one day we try to make more power with this truck. Well, what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments, more power? Let me know. But now I'm gonna just take this to the car wash, just where the pressure washer car wash, and this way I can just get some of the salt off of it, some of the slush off of it before I park it back in the garage. Get it cleaned up. So I'll see you guys maybe at the car wash, but definitely when we get back at home. All right, guys, we are back in the garage now. As you can see, I did stop at the car wash just to get the salt and slush off of it. It is clean. I'm probably a little bit worried about it icing over now, but it'll be okay. Um, didn't film it there, obviously. I know you guys don't want to watch me wash my truck, but um, thank you so much for staying this long in the video. Like last video, I said if... Uh, we stay to the end of the video. We will talk about those comments at the end if you drop The comment of something positive that happened to you in the week or if you ask a question I will talk about that in the next video. So this week um, The hashtag is going to be let's do 10k for 10,000 miles. Let's do that hashtag 10k Drop your comment of whatever positive thing you want to say whatever happened to you this week. That's awesome news let me know and we could talk about it at the end of the next video or if you have a question or anything just hashtag 10k and then comment whatever it is down below whatever it is you want to talk about but this time we're going to talk about jr jr man keep waiting for your trx thank you so much for dropping that comment man i'm very excited for you you said your truck's going to get built hopefully around 217 you know too bad it's not valentine's day it'd be a great valentine's day present for you to have your lovely truck built on that day but you know man keep waiting i promise you it's going to be worth it i'm very excited for you you're going to love the truck all seasons i don't know where you live but summer winter spring fall this truck is amazing whether it's for date night whether it's to go off-roading whether it's the daily you'll love it maybe not the gas mileage but you know if you're buying this truck you're not worried about gas the same way i am you're going to love this miles per gallon that you get so brother keep waiting i'm pulling for you and you know, you're just gonna have to let me know when you get it. Maybe uh, send a picture on Instagram or something, but hey man, keep grinding it out. I appreciate you. And for everybody else, that's all you have to do. Just drop that comment and we'll talk about it at the end of the next video. So everybody be safe. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good night.